Hey what's up guys it's BrainTCT and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video and in today's video we are going to be talking about if it's worth um, upgrading, if, you, if it's worth like attacking barbarians or attacking guardians or whatever that involves XP gaining, um, if it's worth it to use them with commanders that are already maxed at level 60. So for example Lohar is probably the first commander that you'd get to level 60 because he has an extra exp experience bonus of 70%. So he would most definitely get to 61st. So then is it worth it to keep um, using him against Barbarians because he's not getting any XP anymore? So um, I'm going to be talking about whether it's best to use other commanders that haven't been maxed out um, to like that still can ex receive experience um, versus and then like if if it's a, if it's worth it to just keep love if it's worth it to keep putting experience into them after they've already been um, leveled up so I'm just first gonna say Lohar I would say keep using him for um, experience because um, he has a 70% bonus and then on top of his 15% bonus over here that goes up to 85% bonus for XP which is pretty much very good for push like powering um, a commander when you want to put a ton of XP into, in this to one commander but if you're trying to um, uh, like uh, spread out your XP, it's um, you should probably use non-XP gain commanders. Now, for sure, don't use commanders that provide no XP when attacking barbarians because um, they it gives you no benefits because it's just these are meant for like player versus player because um, it's just it goes to waste but for Lohar it may go to waste towards him but he's already destined to get maxed out because of his high experience um, so he's already going to get maxed out and I don't think it matters anymore that he's uh, he's already a maxed out commander because he's just it's not go it's not going to waste because it's going to another commander and not just because Lohar isn't getting any more skills up so he can't hold any more troops and can't get more talents. It doesn't really matter because he's already going to get maxed out eventually. So um, if you're trying to if you're trying to like power a commander to like XP him then use Lohar. But if you're trying to like spread out your action points then I'd suggest like using non-XP commanders like let's say Minamoto and Richard or whatever combo. I'm not saying this is a good co combo definitely. Minamoto and Richard are not a good combo, I would say, because they don't, they're not both the same units types, but let's say you want to use Richards and Martel, um, they would both be getting experience. So because a Lohar only has an 85% experience buff, it's not, you're not getting as much as if you were using two non-experienced commanders, but if you're just trying to save your action points and putting a bunch of experience into one commander, then I would suggest using him for, um, uh, just using him during attacking barbarians and also uh, Lohar is already has really good talents for attacking barbarians so he's already really good at attacking barbarians so I'd say continue to use him because it would just be a waste for all of his talents and how strong of a, um, a barbarian attacking commander he is. Now if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys didn't here because I make daily Rise of Kingdoms videos and that would really help my channel out and um that's it for me today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.